Hey guys, what's going on? Airborne Phoenix here, and I'm bringing you another DayZ guide, and this time I'm showing you where to find weapons in the game. So I'm going to start off by showing you where to find the common weapons, and then I'm going to show you where to find weapons you can only find in farms, farm buildings, like barns and such, and then I'm going to show you later on where you can find more high-end military-style weapons. So I'm going to probably put an annotation or maybe put something in the description telling you which minute to go to, to get to the point in the video where you want to get you want to watch the high, the military tier weapons in case you already know where the common weapons are so I'm gonna just get started right here and I'm gonna show you a map where you can find these common weapons and so you can find these common weapons pretty much mostly in these residential areas Cherno, Electro, Berzino and most of the big cities and of course a lot of the smaller towns as well will have a lot of these residential buildings so I'll just show you the first four right away there's that common house, the shack, the other tool shed, whatever they are, and of course the supermarket. So what to get just to point out really clearly, first and foremost, these you know the two small buildings that are in there, the shed and the other shed, have a very small chance of having a weapon, but they still have a chance of finding a weapon. So if you are to put just to make it clear, if you are not in the, the situation where you have a weapon it's probably best to go to the big buildings before you head anywhere else because you have a better chance of finding a weapon so what I'm guess what I'm trying to say is don't go into a small building with a zombie chasing you because you probably won't find a weapon so moving on then we have the next building which is a, another supermarket and then you have an army checkpoint a brick house and a pub the pub is very good for finding weapons so is the brick house so is the supermarket Next you have a shed, a a building that's beside a pub, I can't think of the name of it, the greenhouse, and the church house. Uh, the shed is gar isn't good for finding weapons, the side of the building normally isn't very good for having weapons. The greenhouse is not good, and the church is okay. The next ones we have are the ruins, the brick house, the greenhouse, and the outhouse. The ruins, I can't tell, I can't say because I'm, I'm not experienced enough in searching them out. The brick house is good, the greenhouse is garbage, and I've heard the outhouse is good, but don't take my word for it. Uh, the castle, the stairs, and the castle gate, and then this yellow brick, this yellow building I have no experience with. The Any of these castle ones are actually pretty damn good for finding a gun in, so I would recommend searching them out. So that is all for the residential areas, I'll move on to the office areas. You can find these office areas in and around the cities mostly. Uh, so moving on to it pretty much straight away we have the tenement then the two uh, house tenement kind of things I guess I could call them they are often nor they're normally I've mostly seen them in and around the hospital areas and then you have the railway station place and that is all I suppose for the office areas more it's worth mentioning that I've only ever seen that tenement the big skyscraper kind of building there in Cherno so beware you may not find that building anywhere else and then the last two office areas is of course the school and the tech building or whatever it's called and that's all there's the two X's are there is for because there's no other build there's no other office building types so next is the church areas three areas in the map there are more areas with churches on the map it's just that it wasn't worth my time highlighting them s highlighting the lesser known ones because these are those those three have the biggest ones that I know of so as you can see there's only two lootable church type buildings there's the one loot small church and the then the multi loot like i think nine or so places you can loot um the big church it, you'll notice them because the small one has one steeple and the big one has three steeples three steeples and one steeple means that the building is lootable and anything more or less than that means it's not lootable so here we have the farm weapons i'm sorry i didn't give this a particularly great layout it was uh, I only had four buildings to make, and it was just annoying me because I couldn't, I couldn't like fit five weapons in nicely into the size of the picture. So I said, "Screw it! I'll just stick it in any way I can, and hopefully they won't mind." So as you can see, there's only four lootable farm buildings: the barn, the long barn, or the stable, however you want to call it, the shed, and then the warehouse. Uh, I don't know why, but the long barn. I suppose they just wanted to show you what it's like inside it. I don't know why, because they didn't do it for any other building, but the long barn, uh, that's the long barn, the second one. Uh, all these are pretty good for finding weapons. I wouldn't chance my arm on the third building, because there's no other way out if you get caught in there, and then you will be killed by a zombie. Most unpleasant death. And so now I'll be moving on to the military weapons. 
And so as you can see here, we have a FAL, a Bison Science M14, FN FAL, App and Pen Vis4, <laughs> a, a Barrett, a S50, MK48, DZM2, uh, you can read, you don't need me telling you what they are, but yeah, lots of good weapons here. And so I'm going to be showing you these military weapons. They are on a, this. all these weapons will, you will find at a helicopter crash site, which is what I will be showing you next. And I'm going to show you the map right now. I actually don't... There is no fixed location for these helicopter crash sites because they're kind of, uh, how do you say, they're randomized spawns. But I will tell you that I have <coughs> where I have seen them is in and around Starry Sober, Novi Sober and Caminino all uh, up in that area to the north, um, west and then just central, a northern central part of the map. And so here I'll just show you really quickly what a down chopper looks like. You can distinguish it between a down you can distinguish between a downed chopper and a regular chopper by its uh, rotors. The rotors for the downed one will be sort of, um, uh, they'll be drooping down or broken altogether. So that's how you know if it's a downed chopper or if it is a just a repairable one. And so now I'll be showing you a map of where you can find all the military areas in the game. As you can see, it's the northwest uh, airfield is a primary place for that, along with a few a few military areas in some in the cities and in and around some of the bigger towns so first off you have I'll give you a list of the weapons and there's quite a few of them now it goes onto two pages just for the military weapons at the building ones just so here I'll get started and I'll start naming them off there's an M9, M16, A2, grenade launcher M16, silenced M9 AKM, AK-74, AK-4A1 with an ACOG of some kind, uh, an AK-74 Cobra, 74U, M24, M1014 shotgun. And so now I'll be moving on to the next uh, page with the military weapons. And they got a DMR, an M4A1, M14, F1, I don't know what the F1 stands for, Uzi F1, a Remington 870, G G17, MP5A5, MP5 silenced, M4A3, CCO, EP1. And that's all the weapons. All of them weapons will spawn in and around the, uh, the, um, the buildings I'm about to show you. So, here are the buildings. Uh, there is the firehouse, the control tower, uh, the air traffic control tower, the hangars, and the military building. It's uh, worth noting here that the best buildings out of these four is the firehouse and the control tower. You will find each one of these buildings uh, in and around the northwest airfield and the northeast air airfield. Uh, not so much the military, the fourth one for the north east one, but you will find all of them up in the northwest, but beware that's a hot zone. And so moving on to the next picture, we have a deer stand and three different types of camps. These camps you'll find outside of the airfields, um, but they have great loot all the same. You'll find them in and around Berezino, uh, Cherno, I think Electro, I could be mistaken. I think there's camps there. If uh, just check the map. I can't remember the map, but you, I'll have played the map just before I've played the, the, uh, but uh, before I'll have shown these buildings. So, hopefully that will, that I have uh, highlighted that to give you a good enough description of what to see. So hopefully that helped. And now I'm going to show you the barracks locations. And there are only, as you can see in the map here, there are only two barracks on the map. They are both in the northwest airfield. One in the north side of it kind of middle north side of it and one the south side of it and so these are the weapons you will find inside of it and just like the last one each weapon has its own percentage chance of dropping but I'm sure if you go in and out of it often enough and let it spawn uh, you will find you will find a weapon you are looking for so here we are the M16A2, M16A2 grenade launcher, M2249 DZ Silenced M9, a rocket launcher, I'm assuming the rocket launcher comes with that rocket. AKM, AK-74, M4A1 AIM, MK-74 Cobra, 74U, M24, next page. SVD Camo, N1014, M107 DZ, that's a Beret, 50 caliber, with rifle in case you were wondering. DMR, M4A1, M14, EP1, 
a Uzi, a Remington 870, G17, M24, M24, ODZ, M4 AIM, SD camo, that would be a nice gun to have, just like the 50 cal. And then the third page, there's a lot of X's here because I just didn't want to remove the layout. M16, A4, A cog, M4, A1, HWG, L camo, that is a mouthful. H MK48 DZ, M4, A3, CC, UAP1, and apparently there's pipe bombs. The source I got is pretty reliable, and pipe bombs were there. The, the spawn chance of them was like 0.10% though, so that's probably why I've never seen one before in my life. And so here is a picture of the building to wrap it all up. And that is what a barracks looks like. There's only two of them on the map, so it's kind of easy to notice them. Especially since there's only two, you'll know where they are once you find them to begin with. So just have a quick back look at that map, and you will know where they are when you get to them. Alright guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. It took me quite a while to edit all this together, because I'm by no means a, ma a fucking maestro, at, or not a maestro, a master of Photoshop, a maestro as a musician. Uh... So yeah, like, uh, this probably took me the better part of a couple of hours. Uh, I was doing the mo better half of today doing it. Today being the day I'm recording this, but probably not going to be the day I upload it. Anyway, it doesn't matter. If you could like it, uh, that'd be fine. If you can't, that's understandable. I understand that only some people, a like from some people is only, it only goes on very, very things that very very much so impress them so if you don't want to i totally understand all right guys hope you've enjoyed the video hope this has helped in some way i've been airborne phoenix and i will see you next time